Sainsbury's Bridge End. My god, I'm out of breath. Just under tire pressures. Um, all okay, no problem. All packed up and ready to go. There's Tim over there, and I tell you what, look at that weather. Awesome. So we're going on a on a bit of a trip up to North Wales. Very nice. Well, I think this is the beginning of our trip. Um, we got Rob there. Don't know if you can see in the mirror. Rob is behind. Tim is in front. I'm in the rocking chair. So everything is all right. This is the brilliant Bracken Beacons. And as you can see, look at the weather. Blue sky, not too hot. I am not sure what the temperature is. Probably about 18, 19 degrees. It's very nice. Just catch up with Tim a little bit. So th this is virtually the beginning of our little mini trip. We are in a couple of nights away, three days up here, up to uh, North Wales. It just feels so good to be out on the bike again on a little mini tour. I was just about to say how beautiful it is again around here and how good the roads were. They're obviously re resurfacing the road here and um, oh my god, look, all this dust gonna go all over my bike again. Bloody hell, 10 miles an hour speed limit. The reason why I'm hugging this line here is if I go a bit to the right, it really is very gravelly. See Rob behind? All the lights on his uh, Africa Twin. Got a lot of road presence, very good. Well, we're having a leisurely uh, ride up here. You know, I, I don't know where we are, to be honest. I've been daydreaming and admiring all the scenery. We're somewhere up near sort of Ryada area. I think we're just a little bit north, actually, of Ryada. Oh, hello, this is where me and Gwyno have been. Me and Mr. Gwyn, we... Pull, oh, God, got an insect right on my eye line now. Yeah, we had a coffee in here. So, uh, on the way back from the Elan Valley, I think. Anyway, hopefully we're gonna have uh, have a coffee. We'll catch you in a bit. Well, that was a nice cup of tea. Um, and they had a Greg's there in that garage. So we had a cup of tea and some sausage rolls. Yum, yum, yum. Very nice. And we've just been talking there. We can't believe how good the weather is. It's pretty awesome. Any north, We've done 86 miles now from my house. Northbound we are. So uh, I don't actually know where we are in uh, in relation <laughs> to where we're going at all. I'm just following Tim, who has it all in hand. Here we are. Look, Dogesley. Uh, uh, we're turning right. Dogesley is to the left. Anyway, it's been absolutely beautiful. I've been on roads that I've never been on before, on uh, that little section we were just on. Um, it's pretty good. I tell you what, I got my earplugs in as well, and um, boy, do they make a difference. I cannot understand why I don't wear them normally. It's far more comfortable to be wearing them, and uh, of course, saving your hearing as much as possible. Right, where are we going now? Oh, got Dog Athlay this way as well. That's confusing. I can't even say this. Jesus Christ, what is it? McKinclef, McKinclef, McKinclef. Good God, what an idiot. Can't believe it though. And we've just gone over a hundred miles from my home. 101 miles. Oh, it's a camping center, Red Kite uh, camping center. There's uh, one stunning view after another here. Um, I tell you what, I, I'm still of the opinion that Scotland is the most beautiful part of the UK, but this isn't far behind. Just waiting a little bit for, for Rob to catch up. He got caught behind a, a van or something. There's a path going up there. 
almost vertically straight up the side of that mountain. Wouldn't that be good on a enduro type motorcycle? Okay, Rob's stuck behind that uh, camper van thing. A dam. Whoa, 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 whoa. Jesus. <laughs> oh, very nice. <laughs> Don't know if there's a, if Tim is going to stop. Yeah, he is. There's a viewing area here. Ah, oh, dear. Little things. Wow. <laughs> Very good. Smile. <laughs> well, here we are at the viewing point. I have to say that's quite stunning. Look at that, worth taking a photo. And I'm not talking about Rob. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's stunning. Right, photo time. Well, I tell you what, if you told me I was in the Highlands now, in Scotland, I would believe you. <laughs> Other than the fact I know we're not. <laughs> this is so similar to... What's Tim pointing at now? Probably rain. You may have noticed that uh, we've also got a bit of Scottish weather here. It hasn't rained yet, but uh, it looks imminent. God almighty, I am going to have to have a look at the map to, to see what roads these are. I'll try and put a caption up and... Uh, you know, so we can at least see the name of the road. <laughs> oh, it's very nice, isn't it? This is better than pounding up and down the motorways in work. I'm pretty sure that I've never been along here either. So it's, uh, it's a bit of a treat. Good God, look at the valleys down there, look. That's incredible. Yeah, this particular section is very much like the, the Highlands. Slightly greener, I would say, a bit more green. Wow, what have we got down there? Nothing, just an old, some sort of workings down there. <laughs> Brave people on bicycles. Must be fit as. This is us dropping down into McCuncliffe. <laughs> What's he doing? 
uh, no communication here and uh, thank you ma'am this is where the uh, the famous Nick Sanders lives somewhere he's got uh, an adventure centre here somewhere I'm not sure where Okay, McCuncliffe is a town uh, slightly north of Aberystwyth. Well, I don't know how far, 20 miles, 30 miles, something, something like that. And it's uh, just about on the, the west coast of Wales. Just over halfway, I'd say, between uh, South Wales and North Wales. Who'd think we'd have a traffic jam, eh? What? Yeah. A traffic jam in McCuncliffe? What? A traffic jam here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I actually, uh, I've set my clock to the correct time now on, uh, on the Triumph here, and we got 12.35, so good afternoon. We met up about uh, quarter past eight, something like that, in Bridge End. And, uh, wow, sorry, I'm the smell of food and burgers and things is uh, phew, very nice. So, uh, what, well, we've, we've stopped on our way up, we've had a coffee, we haven't been rushing at all, and uh, it's literally taken us, I, I don't know, about three hours of actual riding time to get up here. But, uh, like, ah, nice little street market. Uh, I don't know where we're going now. Silly to try and stop yeah, with a market on. Yeah, yeah. No worries. Yeah. We'll not be able to park. Yeah. Okay. Right, so we're not gonna stop in this town because uh I think Tim planned to have a cup of tea here or coffee or whatever. So uh, we're actually going to go. Yeah, yeah, good. Where is there another place? Okay. So we're going to turn right. And uh, apparently there's uh, somewhere to to stop and have a coffee there. Spices could smell all spicy stuff then. Ah. I don't think I've ever actually been in uh, McCuncliffe before. This is, um, I'm not sure to be honest if, I, if I've been here or not before, really, or bypassed it. Uh, it's, quite, it's quite a big town, isn't it, really? <laughs> okay, we just found uh, another cafe here. 
What's that? Chorus Craft Centre. Uh, a place called Chorus. Hmm. Never heard of it. It's a... Uh, This is where I struggled to get in and out. Bloody hell. We shall, we shall endure. So we're actually in the hotel now. Um, I couldn't film any more after the coffee break, uh, of which I don't know where we were. I'm gonna have to try and put a caption up or something. Um, it's a bit difficult when you follow somebody else, you're not actually sure where you are at that, uh, if you're not familiar with the, uh, with the area, which I'm not. The reason I couldn't film anymore was because it started raining quite heavily, actually. Um, we were having a nice cup of tea and a cake underneath a big umbrella thing, and then all of a sudden, rain. While we were there, we was in a, I think it was a Mac Loop um, cafe or something. I, I'm not sure, I'm not sure the name. But the old, uh, the jets, the fighter jets went over. About six of them all together. And uh, guess who missed all of it? Because I was queuing up in the cafe inside with my mask on. Heard it. Sounded very impressive. Missed the whole show. Ah, well. Anyway, the good news is I've had a shower. And in about 15 minutes time, we're going to go out, have some nosh, and uh, a pint, and a good night's sleep. Catch you later. In the morning. Tomorrow morning. Let's hope it doesn't rain. <laughs> Sunshine, please. This highway. Keeps going on.